WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 24th of September, the Tiger Financial News Network, 10 a.m. market update. You've got the Dow, this is very interesting, the Dow pulled back quite sharply overnight, early into, into early this morning, and now it's up 82 at 34,848. Um, the short positions that we had from my subscribers to my opening call, we covered that uh, yesterday, we got stopped out with the, with the profit. And we still have the very the long term long from uh, last March uh, at the lows. We started putting in uh, long positions. What we are looking at here is that the Dow is still way underneath. There's still a chance. I'm still drawing in this arch formation. What happens in the next uh, today and tomorrow? Uh, today and Monday is going to be very important. I'll explain why. Because it starts trading in the 35,000s and then goes to 35,200 any time next week. That's a, a different scenario to um, the way the market had been trading before. But we are looking at the S&P uh, up five now at 45.54. If that starts to trade in the 45.72 or higher area, there is a trend line resistance coming in. Uh, let's just say that by today, 44.74, and by Monday it'll be a little, uh, it'll be a little different. But that whole mid 4470s area, a trade in that area says, you know what? We've made a kind of a low that matches the other lows, even if it's a shorter term a low. But most importantly, the QQQ, which is the NDX 100 trading vehicle, um, 3371.76 down a dollar 28. It's lagging badly, and every other low that was made that match with the on-balance volume and the uh, VIX index that I discussed yesterday and I showed subscribers, is that this has been uh, a rally, but a very uh, mild rally. And even today, it's kind of almost being pulled up by the other indices. So as long as the, uh, uh, we'll talk about this when I do my show in a few minutes, the Tiger Technicians Hour, we'll look at the FANG stocks. Link down back at the ranch, the IWM, is acting very nicely, but it's still under yesterday's high. It's uh, down a dollar at 223. Look at gold. Uh, gold is down again, down to copper. Uh, sorry, yeah, copper is doing okay. But look at crude oil. Crude oil continues its track to the upside in the 73 area. A lot to talk about as well as bonds. I'll be back for a few minutes for the Tiger. Technicians, I'll check out my